Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I know for many of you this is uh, our first meeting, and I am deeply appreciative uh, for having been invited and included. Uh, my name is Jared Ball. Uh, I hail from Washington, D.C., and uh, I'm a member of the D.C. State of the Green Party, and I'm very happy to be here to let you know why I want to be your nominee for President of the United States. Um, Pretty simply, uh, being 35, approaching 36, part of the hip-hop generation, very involved in those politics, I want to help use that as a vehicle to reach many of the people that are most disaffected by the society. I want to help build a campaign that will focus on 2008 as the 40th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. King. Uh, and the assassination, not only of Dr. King, but of the true radical politics of Dr. King, and what we as the party can rebuild were we to get behind such a campaign. Uh, and I don't mean when I say Dr. King, the frozen in, in time, I have a dream speech. I mean the real Dr. King of where do we go from here, chaos or community. His last four-way report, where he talked about many of the things that we need to do as a society to reorganize ourselves out of the white supremacy that continues to infect even our left and most progressive elements, out of the militarism, and out of the capitalism that is dominating and punishing all of us as human beings in this country and in this world. Uh, I want to team up with my man, Head Rock who will be here performing, I believe, tomorrow night. I encourage you all to go check that out and see the kind of capital resistance uh, style of presentations that we are able to give that will penetrate into new communities, again, most disaffected, most ignored by electoral politics, those who have chosen in the, their own right to remove themselves from electoral politics. We want to challenge them to get involved. We want to bring in the tens of millions of people eligible but not voting currently right now. We want to focus on the indigenous communities, the black communities, Latino communities, poor working white communities, and let them know that we are a party that will represent their genuine interests if they decide to come out of their non-participation in electoral politics and vote with us to say, we now have an option for you that lets you know that the vote you are not currently using, you might as well pass with us, because would, would we be to, uh, would, were we to be elected, we would be able to genuinely follow through on the interests as you have defined, as we as a collective have defined. Uh, so that was, that's another reason why I want to be involved as well. Uh, and I want to do it, again, to update and revive the true radical politics that are beneath all of us, that's, that have us all in this room right now, to re-ascend uh, our black radical politics and let many of our, our uh, you know, most disaffected groups know that they can come into this party as equal members with power and rights and able to build with our progressive brothers and sisters of all the other nationalities represented in this room and bring that back to the fore, where we can be reascend ourselves to the leadership of the radical politics of this world, to bring back the the Kwame Therese and the Malcolm X, one minute, thank you very much, and bring back the Malcolm X ideology of right now. Everything that is on the Green Party platform, it should be the minimum of a decently run society, and it is already past due, it is already late. We need to have that stuff right now. So this is not about uh, just thinking about well, part of it is thinking about organizing and building the party over the, uh, uh, the next few years and seeing generations to be involved. But with an attitude that what we are arguing for is just right now. We don't have to sit back and say, we will take, as David and others said in the video, incremental steps forward and take that as being seen as progress. Malcolm X was right. We are a community that has had a knife plunged in our back nine inches and we are being asked to thank people who removed it simply five. We want to say not only should you remove it and heal the wound, but heal the wound of this country and this world, and we're the party that can do it. And I'm Jared Ball, I'm going to be your nominee, so thank you very much. Thank you.